It's Umsum time. What if we could climb walls? That's easy. I do it every day. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> Firstly, if we could climb walls, ladders will not be required anymore. Cleaning ceiling fans will be very easy now. Hmm. Secondly, if we could climb walls, now uh -huh. spiders will have some serious competition. They may not be happy huh? with this situation. Hmm. Thirdly, if we could climb walls, wall climbing competitions may be held. Fastest climber may get nicely rewarded. Hmm. Fourthly, if we could climb walls, some people may take this to extreme levels. They may start <laughs> climbing high-rise buildings. Hmm. Fifthly, if we could climb walls, thieves will be able to easily escape. Cops will be huh? very confused. Hmm. Lastly, if we could climb walls, some people may start sleeping on walls. Finding them will not be easy. <laughs> hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> what if you fall into quicksand? No problem. I am quicker than quicksand. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> quicksand is a waterlogged mixture of sand, clay, and salt. It is a non-Newtonian fluid. That is, it changes its thickness or viscosity depending on the stress applied on it. So, an undisturbed quicksand appears and acts like a solid. Huh? But when we step on it, our weight increases the stress. Hence, it starts behaving like a liquid, uh -huh. thus causing us to sink. However, we will not huh? fully sink into quicksand. Why? Mm -hmm. Firstly, because quicksand is usually not very deep. Secondly, it is believed that quicksand is a bit denser than humans. So what? Hmm. In an experiment, experts prepared aluminum beads which had similar density as humans. Oh. When they placed those beads in quicksand and moved them to mimic the action of a panicked human, the huh? beads sank, but only halfway, thus indicating that we will not completely sink in quicksand. Hmm. What if we planted a trillion trees? I will eat a billion burgers. Oh, um, some. <laughs> there are about three trillion trees on Earth right now, so planting a trillion trees would increase that number by 33%. The impact will ah. definitely be positive for Earth as well as all the living things. Hmm. But this will not immediately solve the climate change problem. Firstly, freeing up so much land for planting trees seems like a mammoth task. Secondly, these trees would take a number of years to grow big enough to make any meaningful contribution towards reducing carbon dioxide from air. Thirdly, if we do nothing about emissions and keep on adding carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, then by the time trees grow, we would have added more than one trillion tons of carbon dioxide, thus nullifying the effects oh, mm -hmm. of these trees. So, plantation of trees plus cut in emissions are the need of the hour. <laughs> 